Hi, y'all, and welcome. Um, I'm so glad you could be here because um, I'm going to be working with this mold that uh, Miss Wanda sent me. And, um, yeah, that's probably my favorite mold. Um, I love flowers. So what I'm going to be doing is dusting it real lightly with this bubblegum glow from Arteza. And then, um, yeah, I kind of skipped a step, which I'm going to go back to. But um, that is a... I forget what shade of pink it is, but um, anyway, what I'm going to do is take this crushed glass that Wanda sent me, and um, uh, after I get through dusting, I'm going to take that crushed glass and um, kind of just lightly here and there drop a few bits, so um, yeah, I don't want it covered um, you know, I don't want the top covered with uh, crushed glass. And now that I'm thinking about it, um, that might not be such a bad idea. But um, anyway, sorry, folks, got sidetracked there for a second. So um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just going in uh, just real lightly with the um, bubblegum glow because, um, you know, it, it does shimmer, um, kind of, mm, I don't know, kind of like a chameleon, I don't know, um, but it'll, it'll shimmer, I mean, it's really pretty, and, um, yeah, it, when y'all see the finished project, it, uh, you know, it, it looks like I hardly put anything in there at all, so, um, you know, this is my first time using this mold, um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I learned a lot from this project, um, and, um, so, and luckily, with all of those little nooks and crannies, I did not have any pock marks, no you know, air bubble holes, no, no nothing. I was really surprised, um, and grateful, but, uh, um, yeah, so, yeah, I'm just still dusting, and it looks like I'm putting a lot in there, but, um, I'm really not. Because in the, in the finished piece, um, you can see, definitely see the parts where I dusted, but, I mean, you can barely, you can barely tell. It's got some highlights here and there, but not, what I'm trying to say is not as many highlights as I would have wanted. Now, this was a big mistake right here. Um, I took the, you know, little, little um, bits and pieces and um, put them in that mold because, you know, I just, I didn't want the whole mold covered up. So, um, I'm just going in and sprinkling little bits here and there. And that mold is kind of sticky, so I thought, ooh. That would be awesome if it, you know, they could just stick in place and then pour the, you know, resin in there. And, um, you know, they would go ahead and stick, which they did, but it doesn't, it didn't really turn out the way that I wanted it to. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it was a big mistake, but... You know, I mean, it's the first time using it, so, so I've got, um, I think it was three ounces of resin mixed up, and I apologize, y'all, um, this is way too much resin that I mixed up, um, 
and I forgot to look after I poured all of that resin in there, I forgot to look um, how much that mold holds. So, um, yeah, please don't ask me how much how much does the mold hold because I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I I get so excited and don't even think about uh, you know looking back to see you know actually how much resin you know any of my molds hold because nine times out of ten I'm always going to be mixing up more resin than I need you know which is okay because I have molds that I can use um, for other projects but um, um, yeah I know that right there is three ounces so um, Maybe you and I together can kind of figure out by watching this, maybe how much this little mold will hold. Question of the day. So, um, yeah, I'm just mixing my mica powder real well. Um, and you want to do that because if you don't, that mica is going to clump and you don't want that. I mean, it's easy to correct, but, you know, why go through another step when you can avoid that additional step? So I've got out a little cup, um, you know, one of those little cups with a spout on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from up high and pour really slowly because I don't, you know, I didn't want those air pockets uh, on the top of the piece. And um, I ended up with absolutely no air pockets. None. <clears throat> so what was that about an ounce I don't know how much those little cups hold but about an ounce and then I'm just going to take my uh, regular cup and um, top off the resin make sure I don't over overfill So I'm guessing that's about an ounce. Because as you can see, I'm not adding that much in there. Yeah, it's about an ounce because it looks like I have two ounces left in my cup. So, yeah, it, that's, it looks like it holds an ounce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, some more crushed glass and mix it in with my resin. And I thought I wanted to make some more car coasters, but I thought, no, let's use this one instead. And for those of you that don't know, um, that mold with the heart in it, um, those that's a mold for uh, tops that go on little phone grips for your phone. Um, those are the tops that go on that little phone grip. Which I would really like to make some more of, but um, that's that's something that's in the future. I've already got a video that has me making the phone grips. So I'm just going to fill up these molds or these little, I don't know what happened there, but
And as you can see, those that crushed glass just it sank to the bottom of the cup, um, which was fine with me. Um, I didn't, you know, it didn't matter. But I did want some of that crushed glass inside that little heart that's in the middle. So I'm taking my stick and just, um, um, I don't know. God, I can't think. Um, dispersing it around everywhere to make it even looking. And there we go. So I'm just going to go around and evenly uh, shove around all the crushed glass. Got to clean up. Take the gloves off. I'm done. Turn me over. Yeah, I noticed that those bubbles in that uh, pink heart mold were not. I couldn't get them to pop with the um, alcohol. So, you know, as you can see, um, yeah. I didn't go over it too much with my torch. Um, it hadn't been 24 hours um, since I had poured these, but I I can't wait. Um, but it was, you know, it was cured enough to where I could get it out of the mold. Um, it was not bendy. And there we go. I mean, it came out cute. I just don't like those, that crushed glass in there. I thought it was just going to look completely different. But anyway, um, I love the crushed glass, and I will use it for other projects. But, um, yeah, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But anyway... So that's what it looks like. And I do have um, ideas for these um, roses. But um, I'm going to have to think on it some more. I just, I love that mold. And those are still bendy. Because it. Yeah, it hadn't been anywhere near 24 hours. And that's what those look like with the crisp, uh, crystals. Jeez. With the glass in them. And I had a stray. I had a stray crystal. I guess it felt left out. I mean, they're, they're okay. I just, I think that pink is really not the right color for those. Even though it's got, um, that crushed glass does have some pink in it. It just didn't, I don't think it was the right color for it. So until next time, be safe and be kind. See you later.